um, to deliver lessons and to basically see whether they may have an impact on children's education uh, and also the way that I taught. Um, along the, the last few months, I've been working alongside David Andrews and uh, I've been sort of testing out apps and trying apps and seeing what impact they have on the classroom environment and obviously the, the teaching and training that, that we do. Um, if you have any questions at all tonight, just type in the bottom box. Um, I will try and answer as many questions as I can. And I said, don't take what I'm doing as gospel. Um, I'm learning all the time. And what I'm going to show you tonight is just different things that I've picked up, I've learned along the way. Um, and I'm sure you guys, if you've used the iPad before, you will have um, uh, some ideas and tips that you could probably share with me. Um, but what we're doing, going to do tonight is I'm just going to share with you some different apps and techniques that uh, I've used in my classroom, certainly to support literacy, and it has had an impact on both um, my teaching, and I'll say a positive impact, uh, on my teaching and the children's learning. But like I say, if you've got any questions at all, or you want to make a comment, I'm happy for you to type in the box, um, and I can try and address any issues. Okay, the first thing I'm going to talk to you about is something I've been using in my classroom um, to deliver my literacy lessons. Uh, and what this has allowed me to do is give the, uh, the children opportunities to reflect on their learning, um, work that they've, they've done um, to sort of edit, improve, do peer assessment. And the app I've been using to deliver all of my lessons is in an app called Explain Everything. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open it up for you. And I'll show you a, a literacy lesson that I taught today. Um, uh, the lesson was on uh, in identifying the key features of an information text. And what we did is we started with the Walton wheel at the start. And I delivered it. So we talked about what the big picture was. And using this app really does give me the opportunity to structure my literacy lessons. So, for example, we talk about uh, what learning they're going to expect of them by the end of the lesson, how will what they're learning um, impact on the overall picture. I also use this to sort of uh, to, to give the children their, their starters to their lessons. Um, for example, today we had um, a sentence uh, improvement, trying to up-level sentences using their targets. And what we did then is once I've given them a few minutes to go away and do that, using the iPad uh, via Apple TV. I then walked around the classroom and we took photographs of the children's work, what they did for their, their early morning stars for their literacy lesson. And what we did is, as a class, we analysed what skills they've used, how they could improve it. We talked about the three things that they really liked about their sentences, maybe ways that they could improve it. And what this app does is it's really easy to take a picture and import it onto a new document. I'll show you how I do that now, um, just to show you how simple it is to literally go up to somebody's book, take a photo of their work, show it to your class, and then reflect on that. All you do is, new slide, right, it's ready, there we are. Insert a picture that you've taken on your camera roll. Here, as you can see, I've got lots of pictures of today's work. Click on a picture that you want to share. Done. And there and then, you can really home in on what the children have done. And then as a class, or if you're lucky enough to have iPads um, where you've maybe got one to every two children, you can get them to reflect on and annotate. So we'll just say there, they've used a full stop. OK? And there and then, the children are doing the work. They're reflecting on what's good, what skills have they used. I'm going to carry on. It then gives me the structure to sort of follow on from that lesson. And what that's done is I used to be, I, I used to regularly get sort of the old, well, the, the goods for the lessons, but this has now given me outstanding lessons when doing it. Um, and we've shared this across the federation, we're in part of a federation. And we've also started sharing this with other schools in Cornwall. And for me, I can't deliver a lesson without it. Because it does give me that structure and it allows the children, like I say, to reflect on work that they've done. Um, 
If you've got any comments or questions about that, or whether you want me to show you any more or you're happy, could you just perhaps write a small comment in the chat box? Because uh, I want to make sure that we're covering everything and, and nobody's sort of unsure as to what we're doing. So if you could all make a comment in the chat box, make sure you're happy with that. Sorry, Jack, could you just send me that message again? It's, um, it, it's just gone. The app is called Explain Everything. And I've written it in the, yeah, Explain Everything, Donna, 199 it is. Jack, Ren, Sarah, Sarah on her own there. Have you, have you got any questions about that? If you're happy, just put continue, or if you'd like me to go over anything, we can discuss that a bit more. I'm just going to add to that there. I, if you look at the screen, you can see how often I use this. Um, every lesson is delivered using it, and then obviously you can save. You can save your work uh, as a file. Answering um, Kath Pearson's with a visualizer, you're restricted because you haven't got the flexibility of instantly saving this evidence. Um, going around to um, children there and then, taking a foot while they're at their table, instead of getting children up to the front of the class. So it gives you that flexibility to be able to do that. Ren, I do share this on a whiteboard. What we've got is we've got Apple TV, but you can buy an app called um, Reflector, and Reflector you can put on your laptop, and it will um, reflect on it. And what I do do is I vary. Sometimes I'll use this app um, as a whole class to deliver whole class lessons. Sometimes I'll let small groups take the iPad, um, and they'll go away and um, create short files about something they've been learning. Um, I can show you that a bit later. They've made videos which they've imported into files. So it's a really, really flexible app to use. I know there's a slight cost with it in 199, but for me, I couldn't go without it because it does give you that structure and it does give you the option to save and collect evidence um, from your lessons without, without actually having to make them do it all in their literacy books. Donna, with your, your question, no, my, my, we're not in a position at the minute to have um, an iPad for everyone. Um, we have a set of six, which we use because we're quite a small school. So when we have our sets of six, we sort of give them out as groups. No, if I had, Kath, with, in response to your question, if I had, um, if every child had an iPad, I could set a template which they would have on their iPad um, and then they could go ahead and complete whatever I put on there in terms of a template and then if they wanted to share their work using Apple TV or whatever, they could connect their iPads at the flick of a button to the, um, the smart board and you could visually see their work. So uh, I hope that answers your question. Um, like I say, not all children have got the iPads, we've only got a small set you can set a template on it and then the children can complete their work for you. Ben, have you got any questions or are you happy with that there? Sarah, two questions. Sarah, two questions. What do I have there? Well, when we do a normal lesson, if we were doing, um, for example, if we were doing a, the introduction to a story, I'd share the lesson, I'd do the walk wheel, if we do the warm up, etc. And then they'd still do the writing in their book, but what we could do then is we could analyse what they'd written. Um, some children, especially with low ability, would take the iPad away and they'd do it on the iPad. But we can, we can um, take pictures of what they've done and then analyse it like I showed you earlier on. I'll show you that again. Their warm-up this morning was to level sentences. And then we obviously can analyze it there and that's my evidence saved then and then I upload this and it's all, it's all saved together. Sarah, does that answer your question? Yeah, brilliant. Jack, I'll just wait for you in case you've got anything else to ask. If not, I'll, uh, I'll move on.
Well, the apps I teach you today, Jack, well, share, share with you today, Jack, um, you can use some of them with EYFS. I mean, this app, I've seen it used in early years. My early years teacher uses this to collect her evidence and to share and reflect and talk about things. So they're not at apps specifically for EYFS, but there are apps that you can certainly use within EYFS. OK? OK, the next app I'm going to show you is Sketch. OK? Now, Sketch is another app similar to Explain Everything, but what, it, what you can actually do is, I'll come off that now. What you can actually do is, instead of having the whole faff of how to deliver, how to deliver whole lessons, you can very easily take one piece of work and you can get the children to analyze. And the good thing about this app 